Hey all, welcome to another hands-on exercise. Uh, this one's going to be going around and analyzing call flow performance and making optimizations. Um, obviously, you guys may have someone that takes care of this in your organization, but this is a, all a part of um, making the call flow more optimized, making it better for the customer experience when they come, they call in. Uh, so this is just one of those ways, setting up a performance dashboard dashboard around those call flows. So you can kind of see, we'll get started here. You'll, you'll see here, uh, we're in the admin panel. What we're going to go to is uh, performance, workspace, and from the workspace, you'll see I already have one up for interaction. I just did some test calls into my call flow to make sure things working correctly. Uh, you'll, hit the, you'll hit the plus sign, and then you're going to look at dashboards. Uh, you can do a search. If it's not visible, you can search for it. Uh, go ahead and click on dashboards. Now we're going to go ahead and create our first dashboard. So just my first dashboard. <clears throat> and click add. And you can see here, now you can start adding widgets. The dashboard, we're in the dashboard now. We can start adding the widgets for that dashboard. And there's different metrics that you can add, charts, agent statuses. We're going to go ahead and add a metric here on this one. You can search for queues, users, rabbit codes. There's dashboards we use for a variety of things. But in this exercise, we're actually going to look for flows. So go ahead and type in whatever you called your, your uh, the call flow that you did. So I got my first call flow there. Now we're going to look for what, uh, what metric. In the hands-on pamphlet that you've been given, they said something about the billing queue and a high abandonment rate. So we're going to go ahead and look at the abandonment rate. Average, there you go, average, average disconnect rate, that has been renamed. Uh, and so there's the average disconnect rate. Uh, instead of today and current interval, we're also gonna add past seven days instead of current interval. Uh, voice is all we really need. I'm gonna un uncheck the other ones. We don't have those others, but I'll just uncheck it. And then you can go ahead and click save. So you can see the average disconnect is 17 seconds. So it gives you an idea of that. Uh, you're able to then add some more metrics around that. So let's say we want to do my first call flow again. This time I want to add, just look through here, get familiar with these things. These things do change on a continuous basis. Sometimes they remove them, sometimes they add metrics. Just get a good example uh, or get a good feel for all these different ones. Add as many of these metrics as you want just to get a kind of an idea of what's happening. Uh, so you like total, there's percentage of success rate, there's a exit rate, exit percentage, failure percentage, disconnect, like you can add all of these different metrics to it. And we're gonna keep um, past seven days to date and then today and go ahead and save this piece. And so now it gives you some more. The 100% have been disconnected. So all the calls I did never got, never, never made it to queue. The exit percentage was 0%. So you can kind of see as you start going through these and adding more metrics, adding some charts to it. Uh, let's go ahead and add a chart. We're going to do the same thing for the call flow. There's the call flow. There's some, I believe that the same, uh, the same metrics here, but in case you want to see it in a flow, uh, there's a total flow, total exit. Let's just add that. Um, it's going to be today right now. You can select obviously past seven days, what I've been doing just to kind of keep it the same for all the way around. You can see now that there is a, a, a chart here to take a look. You can add another chart. You can add some agent statuses on there, uh, another metric. So as you build this thing out, this does auto save. So you don't have to go back and um, you know, save it or anything, and you can also favorite it, so it then becomes one of your favorites. So this is a good way of just making sure that you have some good eyes um, from a metric standpoint on your call flow. You can do multiple call flows, obviously, to just kind of get a good idea of where things are failing, where what what's happening to it. Is it still in a good state? Um, this will let you know that. Uh, and Per you, you know, if you have some business requirements around things, maybe they have specific things you want to, they want you to look for. This is where you're going to do that at. Um, you'll get a very holistic view, uh, you know, like the 3,000 foot view from uh, from each call flow if you if you want to separate it and for the dashboards. Other than that, the the big takeaway here is just getting familiar with this. Um, 
being more comfortable in this dashboard, being able to create it. So when someone comes to you and asks how this call flow is doing or they think something's wrong, you're able to do a quick snapshot of what this dashboard looks like, find potential problems and fix them before they become major issues. Um, that's it for this course. Thanks for uh, the hands-on. We'll see you at the next one.